Hey guys, it's Jess from All Done Dancing. Um, so I am sorry about last week. I had no voice whatsoever. Um, completely lost my voice when I was on the plane to San Diego and then um, just didn't have a voice the entire time. It sounded like I was a smoker who smoked like 30 packs a day, which I'm sorry if that's your hobby. I don't really mean to offend anybody. Um, <laughs> that's not how my voice sounds. This is how my voice sounds. Um, so yeah, I didn't make a video last week at all, um, just kind of recovering. I got a sunburn a little bit, um, was on a whale tour and forgot to put some sunscreen right here and I don't know, it's not as visible, it's not really showing up on this video. Um, but yeah, so today I was training at my internship site and I got to, excuse me, um, I got to sit in on like an, a session with a client or whatever. And for some reason, um, the guy who I was shadowing was like, hey, um, how did your hands get like that? And the person was like, oh, my hands get really, really dry in the winter when it stays this cold. And I should make a note, like, I'm in Wisconsin and for the next three days it's going to be like negative double digits, which is crazy. Um, but I'm used to it. But I realized on the way home that's why my legs were kind of acting up today. Um, but anyway, um... The guy I was shadowing was like, oh, you should go and buy um, Utter Balm. It's amazing, blah, blah, blah. And I had, like, this aha moment. I'm sure everyone looked at me like, why are you, like, smiling like a maniac? Um, because I forgot about this product, and it really is amazing. Um, I bought, I personally didn't buy it. My mom bought it when I was in elementary school. And I remember being totally embarrassed that we had to go to Farm and Fleet to buy this product for my legs. Um, but it worked really well, as far as I'm remembering. Um, I haven't used it in many years. For some reason, I moved with the same container. It moved with me to my first apartment in 2005, and I looked, I just happened to look at the expiration date, like, while I was living in my first apartment, and it said 1993. Uh, so I disposed of that, and I, like, never went and looked for it again. I'm not really sure why. I think, I guess I didn't need it at the time, um... So tonight I had to stop at the grocery store because my cats were alerting me that they had no more food and I was like, fine, I'll feed you. Um, so I bought Utterly Smooth. Um, this is the body cream. There was a hand cream um, and there was also like a extreme dry skin body cream version. So I decided I would try just the body cream because I just need it for my legs basically. Um, I might try it on some of my, like, scar tissue. It's, I mean, it's not dry, but it gets kind of flaky, so I don't know if that helps with it. I will let everybody know. Um, eventually I will film a video of me putting on products, but right now I just thought of it as I was making dinner, so this is what the video is going to be. Um, but yeah, um, this is just, like, a creamy, obviously, body cream. It's just white. There's not really a scent, but... It reminds me of my childhood, so <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, I guess there's a fragrance in here. Um, I'm not really sure. I mean, it's used on cows' udders, so um, farmers can continue to milk the cows when it's really, really cold, like it is right now. And, I mean, I'm not a cow, but I have legs that get very dry, and they also stay really moist, and... As the guy was explaining to his client, he was like, you know, your skin can only tolerate too much dryness or too much wetness, and otherwise it will, you know, get sores and it'll crack. And I was like, oh my god, that is why I always have sores, is that I'm not properly moisturized. Like, I try my hardest to stay moisturized on my legs, but sometimes I'm just so exhausted at the end of the day that I literally want to just take a bath and then just let my legs air out and sometimes that does help like sometimes I just need to not put ointments on and that is fine but last night I did nothing and today I am paying for it so yes today tonight whatever I will be putting this all over my legs and by legs I mean you know my amputated legs not my prosthesis um but yeah I'll kind of keep everybody updated I'm hoping let's see I go to Texas pretty soon to see my brother, but I think I have another week before I do that. So there should be another video and perhaps an updated video on like what ointments I use and maybe I'll actually film that and not just talk about it because I know people have been requesting kind of how I do things, like how I 
bandage every morning and whatnot. So I'm going to try to film a bunch of videos maybe and just kind of get them ready to go and ready for everybody to watch. But if anyone has any questions, please pop them down below. Um, I know I've gotten a few emails to my YouTube channel and I need to respond to those. So thank you for reaching out to those people who have done that. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe. I think I might be at 250 subscribers, which is crazy. Like that is amazing. So I really appreciate everyone watching. Um, and if you have any other ideas outside of like how I bandage and put on ointments and that sort of thing, um, I'm going to like compile a list of videos I need to make because right now, not that I'm running out of ideas, but I'm running out of time to film videos right now because my schedule's kind of hectic and I really need to like hunker down for school, but I do still want to film a video a week. So it'd be helpful if I saw from you guys what you would be most interested in seeing. Um, but yeah, thanks again for subscribing and all of your support and I will see you all soon. Bye!